A lot of clients complain about pain that starts in the wrist and travels up the thumb. This video focuses on how to resolve pain from the perspective of ancient Chinese healing. I see this condition on a weekly basis and it's not simply an age thing either. While many of these cases are amongst retired and elderly, younger and younger people are getting it from heavy device usage. Hint, put the phone on a flat surface, support your arm, then scroll. That'll save you some trouble. I've also had this condition from grasping and stretching people's muscles. I've since learned how to avoid it, but there have been times where I've been too scared to even push a door with my own outstretched hand. During such times, I had to cope without strength in my wrist and thumb. Try even making a sandwich without those, let alone working a full day at the clinic. This part of our arm is a bit of a weak point. It gets so much use, is twisted in all directions and relies on blood flow, which, if shoulders and arms get tight, isn't always available and, if overused, can become inflamed. In traditional Chinese medicine, there aren't concepts such as osteoarthritis or tenosynovitis. What you have instead are the concepts of flow and obstruction. The treatment for these types of condition will involve re-establishing the free flow of vital energy and circulation whilst nourishing the whole body. In the YouTube universe, there are many videos about treating these conditions, most of them excellent. However, few, if any, feature these techniques which have proven in my experience to be effective. It's taught that we shouldn't massage the wrist and thumb too powerfully as the tendons of those areas are easily inflamed. When approaching these fine structures, my aim is to fly under the radar, working gently and smartly to promote blood flow without harming the tissues. To get around this, we're going to be working with acupressure points using a pincer motion. However, as this is a video about having a sore thumb, uh, you might not be so keen on this idea, and so, you may want to instead use a rounded head such as found on this tuning fork or even on this pen here. The pincer motion will enable us to get two points at once, but working with these will be just as good, it'll just take twice the time. The idea will be to push for a second and then release for a second. Push and release. And in the time between pushes, that gives the blood more time to travel up and into the sinew that we're treating. Let's start with these excellent points. Taiyuan and Yang Si. Find Taiyuan in the small depression between the wrist crease and the head of the radius bone. Find Yang Si on the radial side of the wrist in a depression that forms between the two tendons of the thumb. You can do this for a minute or so, but for now, let's just do five. Moving on to the next set of points, Hogu and Yuji. Find Yuji located inside the very middle of the first metacarpal bone, the bone of the thumb. Find Horgu in the middle of the second metacarpal, or forefinger bone, on the radial side, on the highest point of the fleshy mound formed when pressing thumb and forefinger together. Squeeze these points together five times, before moving on to the next point, Jian Shi, which can be found approximately three inches above the wrist line, in the space between the two large tendons which appear when you make a fist. Press into that point now and find the point directly above Jiansha, exactly opposite on the other side of the arm and push into that. Bookmark this video for future reference and you'll find each of these points stamped in this video's timeline. This routine should relax the muscles and notably reduce pain. However, the real game changes come in the form of the Tai Chi hand motions which you're about to learn. Arm swinging. This not only helps my hands, but also my elbows, arms and shoulders. Every few swings, I also rotate my arms 90 degrees to work a wider spectrum of sinews. As a variation, you can walk around while swinging the arms. However, my suggestion is to tone it down when out and about, just to avoid misunderstandings. Motion two, circular rotations. This one really helps regulate the wrists and fingers, totally relax the hands, Become loose at the wrists, then move the hands in an anti-clockwise circular motion. Also, go side to side with these ones, rocking your weight back and forth with core muscles engaged to get an additional benefit. This is a beautiful motion which relaxes the sinews of the wrist. I also recommend that you spend 15 minutes lying in the flat back knees up posture. This relaxes the spine, allowing blood to flow freely through the shoulders which will benefit the arms, wrists, and fingers. And to further loosen that spine, watch this video here. I give it two thumbs up. There they are. Happy thumbs. Happy thumbs.